going on, Michael Smitty? What's going on, everybody? All right, once again, we got the Tar Heels playing tonight. They're playing Wake Forest right down the road in Winston Salem. They're playing the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Uh, don't have to tell any of the Carolina fans that Carolina really needs this win. We need to get back into the the winning column. Like it needs to be a streak of wins. Um, And uh, while we're while we're at it, right before the game kicks off, let's take a look at the matchup predictor. Matchup predictor. Hey, for once, well, actually, a couple of times, uh, we were the underdog. So right now, 49.6% in Wake Forest, 50%. Heck, they, they might as well just put this at 50%. It's so a 50-50 chance, and it really is. You know, depending on how our Tar Heels come out and play and what they try to do offensively and then how well they can play defensively um, hopefully we can get more than three fouls I, I still don't know what that was about especially especially looking at how that Duke team played against Miami last night and we couldn't get a foul they were just blocking everything I, I, I don't get it but we got yeah, leave the pass in the past <laughs> And let's go on, but you know, I don't like kicking uh, anyone when they're down, but uh, that, that just made me feel just a, a little bit better that Duke took it on the chin. Uh, one thing about it is we got to play that same team, and Miami is looking good. Those guys at the, those guys at the, the top, you know, the top four, top five. Looking, looking darn good, especially uh, the top four: Clemson, Virginia, Pittsburgh, Miami. State not looking bad. Duke is ahead of us. They, you know, they jumped and uh, since they since they beat us, they actually I think they jumped too. Now they're back down here again, and Wake Forest is right under us. So everything right there in that little group there is is going to be tough gonna be tough so you know I I don't know I don't know what we plan to do I don't know what coach is playing for the guys tonight how we're gonna play this team uh, we can't take them for granted though definitely can't take them for granted not down in Winston-Salem not not in Joel and um let's see what happens that's, that's all we can do all we can do see what happens all we can do is sit here and make suggestions on what we think should happen and then listen to the commentators say the same thing we're saying but then we look out on the court and it's not happening like they're not using the big man over and over they, they settle on that isolation I guess to uh, to the other two uh, two thirds of the big three and to me they do that more than going to the big man and the only reason I, uh, the only reason I'm even get upset because of that, because some people may say, well, hey, it, isn't it the same as you going to the big men, you, you go to uh, Davis, you go to, to, to Love, right? It's just the same, whoever you go to. No, it's not, because when you put that ball in the big man's hand, if they go one-on-one, -on -one, nobody can stop Baycott, right? He's due, he's due for a good, solid game today, I think. If they double teaming, which is what everybody's doing, the last two teams have done, or maybe even the three teams, get the ball out of the double team. Baycock's been through this all his all his four years at at uh, UNC. Get the ball out of there quickly. Rotate the ball. We're gonna get a good shot. And good crazy, can we move the ball? Can we move the ball? At the beginning of the year, we went through that, what was that, four-game losing streak? We were playing offense the exact same way we're playing offense now. Go to a guard, everybody else stand around and see if the guard can beat this the uh, defender man-to-man. -man. Give the ball to Love, see if, if, if Love can get past his defender. And then, for some reason, we started moving the ball. Like, we came down and everybody would touch that ball. That ball wouldn't stick. And we got on the winning streak. And now we've gone back away from it. I, I, I don't know. 
But we got another game. All right, here we go. Uh, our boy Jermon says he, he doesn't know if he can he can watch another game like like uh, this past game, and uh, it was a tough one, tough pill to swallow. But uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be watching just like everybody else. So it'll be on in just a few, and I'll be right back. Carolina versus Wake Forest. Cassell with the ball in hand, Pete Nance, Andrew Carr jumps center, Carr wins it, and away we go. So the last couple of games, Steve Forbes, the head coach for Wake Forest, has gone with a smaller lineup. Now he's back to the more traditional big lineup because of the size of North Carolina's front line. Appleby can't connect from deep to start. Yeah, 20 and white, Davion Bradford makes his first start since November. Meanwhile, the North Carolina starting five. Three guys that get at least All right, what's up, guys? Here we go. Here we go. They go into the big man. Spin move. Miss the layup. Went to the big man first, though. There's Cam Hildred. Caleb Love starts on him. First meeting between these teams back in early January. Leaky Black was on Cam Hildred, but today it's Black on 30 and white. Damari Monsanto, who hit eight threes in the wake win Saturday against Notre Dame. Eldridge, pivoting, yeah, pivot. Into a three second call. Really good defense pivot too many times there. Three Holding seconds. That's Keldrick. 
Hildreth didn't have an out. Hildreth. North Carolina guarding one pass away once the ball went inside. Good D by the heels. They won that first meeting. All right, what's going on, everybody? Make sure you hit that like button as you come in. North Carolina and Wake Forest. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. how much he stays in constant motion. Which is really tough to keep him off the glass as well because he's always moving. Well, now we're uh, now we're settling. Another block shot. I'm saying another block shot. Uh, they keep black with the defense. I'm saying another block shot. Uh, coming from what happened last week. That pass from one side of the floor to the other is too flat, and it takes too long. Great anticipation. And turnovers were a big problem for Wake in the first meeting, especially late in the game against Carolina. Appleby with two points. RJ Davis on his hip, right? I mean, he comes off that ball screen. All right, so we got RJ Davis dribbling the ball, gets to his elbow. Didn't want to take that. They get it down to the big man. He's fouled this time. What's up, Sean Crowley? It is a must win. So two minutes and six seconds into this game is when North Carolina will attempt its first free throws. And Gilbert Davis pointed out multiple times post-game Saturday in a game with us here today in the nice way that Hubert Davis always does. That All right, they got free does go to the line early, but he misses his free throw. Got to have those. Got to have those. Gets there quite a bit. Baker hits for the second. Well, North Carolina on the season averages, uh, they, well, they make more free throws than their opponents attempt. And Carolina comes out with a full court trapping press. Long three. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you got a really coming close to space on Monsanto. He made eight threes. Monsanto. Monsanto had a nice shooting game against us the last time, too. They look to get it inside. Now Love with it. Gets it over to Nance. Nance backing his man down. Let's go, Baycox. Nance scores. Score is 5-5. Five, five. Appleby creeping. Gets to the free throw line. Finds Bradford. Get your hands up, Baycott. They're going to call a foul. Get your hands up. Get your hands up, baby. That's one thing about Baycott. Like, it just it doesn't seem like he's learned how to play defense without fouling. Get your hands up. Got your hands straight out. He always does that. Either he's got his hands and guys back. Get your hands up. Make a shoot over you, big man. Straight up. Straight up. And a deficit defensively and try to draw that foul exactly like Bradford just did. Because you saw at the bottom of the screen, Leaky Black. Bradford with the old fashioned three point play. Puts Wade Forrest up three. And lifts. That opens up that one on one opportunity inside. Wade by three. A turnover by the Car Hills. It's blocked. And Wade Forrest out hustles North Carolina, gets the ball. Carr drives, another rebound by Wade Forrest. That was Bradford. That was Hildred. Misses a two point shot. Now Davis pulls a three, a quick three. That's no good. Rebound. Wade Forrest. Appleby gets all the way to the rim. Left hand layup is good. Five to ten is the score. Wake Forest in the lead over the Tar Heels. Move the ball, Tar Heels. Move the ball, Tar Heels. There you go. Baycott. Layup is good. Seven to ten. When he catches, where he catches. He 
15-35. Left in the first half. They get the ball deep to Bradford. This time, Baycock got, has his hands up. Good defense. Rebound, Baycock gets it out to Davis. Davis gets it over to Nance. Now Love on the drive. Kicks out to Leaky Black for three. It's off the mark. Baycock tries to run it down. It's the last touch by the Tar Heels. And we're going to a timeout. How do you feel? How do you guys feel so far? All right, it does seem like we are we're, we're getting the ball inside. Getting the ball inside there a little bit. I, I like to see that. I only seen one quick shot. Other than that, I think I think offensively not doing bad. Kick it up a little, kick it up a notch on defense. I agree with that, uh, Sean. Hey, we, we got to go for every loose ball, and it's got to be everybody. Gotta be everybody. If not, yeah, get him out. Put, I, hey, put, put Puff Johnson there. If you don't trust anybody else, you got Puff Johnson. Somebody told me uh, yesterday, and I think Jermon had mentioned it too, that uh, I, I know you got Pete Nance in there. He's a fifth-year senior, uh, whatever, uh, transfer or whatever. But um, if you got, if you put Washington out there. Another guy, another big, you know, like the with the, the two big. You got two bigs out there. Put him out there, and then they can't double team. They can't double team Baycock. And when they can't double team, team Baycock, you see what he does. So I mean, that just might be another option Carolina can go to also. I, this offensively, but we, we still got to play defense. We got to go for all the loose balls. We can't turn the ball over. Can't turn it over. Ask Duke. Yeah, I, I had I had I had I had to throw that out there. My bad. I had to throw it out there. Not liking their body language early. This this uh, team needs a pulse. Yep. Set a tone. I don't know. I mentioned that in the last game. It's just like we we don't we, we don't we never have a sense of urgency. It's it's okay sometimes to be confident, but and and maybe if you're looking confident, but confident looks a little different than what we we look like a lot of times. We don't get excited playing defense. I mean, it's just. And that's 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 funny because Davis is is an animate type coach. All right, back. Appleby misses, and Baycott gets a rebound. Trimble out there now. Trimble and Puff out there. They get it down to uh, Baycott. He shoots and scores. What do you mean he would love? Just make him throw the dang ball in there. Or at least a, yeah, attempt to throw it in there every time. Appleby. alley -oop. Too easy. Let's go, Carolina. Is Baycott or somebody hurt? Like he went to the bench for some reason. Let's go, big man. 
Don't mess up your stock being being weak. Baycock comes up top. And he takes a three. What are, what are we? Come on, baby. Nobody moves, man. Nobody moves on us. Leaky back with another steal. Let's go, Leaky. Come on, baby. Let's go. You knew that was coming. <laughs> Oh, Leaky, take off. Well, I think there was a foul on the play, so Leaky Black will go to the line. Leaky Black misses the first. Washington on the floor early, but Baycott goes out, and Nikki Black misses both. All right, so far we can't complain about foul, but we're not hitting our free throw. Yeah, he is really killing us. Appleby straight to the basket. Washington hands to Trimble. Trimble don't want to. He doesn't want to shoot the ball. Davis gets to his elbow. Shoots that one. It's off the mark. Rebound. Washington. Excuse me. That's Leaky Black. A little bit of ball movement going on. Now some standing around. Let's go. Move that ball. Gets it to Washington. It rims out. Rebound. Wait for us. Rebound. Appleby gets it. They give it back to Santos. He's going to shoot it every time. And he can light it up. The score has swelled not to nine, nine to seventeen. Wait for us. Carolina right now not playing a whole lot of great defense, and their offense is not producing anything right now. Twelve minutes and twenty-seven seconds. This, this is what Jermon is saying. Like, you just, it, it's hard to sit and just watch our team. Make one, let one guy do this to him, man. Appleby can get to the basket whenever he wants to, and it, look, and it looks effortless. All right, right now, nine, the score is 9 to 19. Well, right now, only thing we can help uh, can hope uh, is that Wake Forest cools off <laughs> because our we don't have a sense of urgency right now playing defense. I hate this. I hate to sound like it seems like we've already packed it in, but I mean that's that's what it seems like. But whatever. I'm going to watch the whole thing. <laughs> I think Coach, Coach Davis has his hand full with this, with this group. Is all it is, man. I mean, we, we 
They will not play aggressive defense if their offense isn't working. So if our offense is not working, it's just going to get worse for the Heels because they, 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 they will not play defense. You know, we just cannot understand that aggressive defense creates turnovers, creates transition baskets, and when we're not scoring, like like you said, uh, Sean, our, our body language is terrible. I mean, honestly, we literally look like we do not want to be out there. They literally look like they don't want to be out there. No awareness on offenses team. They are going to get blown out. No defense in the lane. They are lifeless again. This team can't shoot. And this might be the death of their season. No one has answers anywhere. Just, I mean, 100%, Sean. 100%. Seven more games after this with high quality teams. Well, we got a timeout. North Carolina, <clears throat> it's absolutely getting blown out right now. No scoring. Washington breaks the seal. He won't play him though. Appleby, escape dribble, step back, rebound for Leaky Black. Tremble. Hey, Tremble shot the ball. Strong move by Trimble, 13-24. 10 minutes, 8 seconds on the clock. He'll just bring the ball up the court. We'll push off, turn around, jumper is good. That's by Williamson. Love brings the ball up. He wants a screen set. Throws it away. A turnover. Carolina playing very disjointed right now. And we definitely got to 
<laughs> we definitely got to um, – come on, guys, what are we doing? Are you serious? How does he get all the way down there? Davis back on the court. Gets it to Love, Love to the basket. He's fouled on the play. 13-26 is the score. Wake Forest leads by 13. Brian Bowell, what's going on? Hubert Davis had better talk to this team. This is crazy, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Hubert better do more than talk. Or <laughs> hey, the Tar Heels will get him out of there. Love steps up and hits the free throw. Nine minutes, 17 seconds left in the first half. Love hits both of them. 15-26 is the score, and Appleby walks it up the court. He calls the play. Screen set. Oh, backs him down deep. Easy layup is good. Baycott with ball up top, spin move. Misses the layup. Wow. That's just that's just called that's just standing around, man. Like not like Sean said, not being aware. We not being aware on defense now. We're just standing around, man. Davis. Drives. He scores 17 to 30 is the score. Still eight minutes and eleven seconds before halftime. We saw eight points, five assists for Tyree Appleby at the controls. Now Hildreth. Hildreth holds up. Baycott, get your hands up. There you go. Marsh with the score. Carolina in a deep hole. If they don't play defense, they will not be able to get out of it. Davis pulls up. Shot is completely off. Appleby brings it down. Gets it to Williams. Williams stops in the lane. Jumper is good. And right now, Carolina is uh, getting drugged. Wake Forest is doing whatever they want to do. Come on, guys. Just one one person, one man play good defense. And then you won't have to have any help like that. I don't know what to say, guys. I thought once I thought once Carolina heard uh, what happened to do that they would definitely be fired up to to get this win, but uh it just doesn't seem like these guys are here at all. Uh, but thank all seven people for being in here <laughs> watching this uh this uh this unexplainable game right now it's inexplicable what's going on on the court right there 17 to 34 is the score for those who are trying to adjust their television sets uh sets that is actually is the score north carolina baycott with five uh, Nance, Black, Davis, and Love, actually everybody else besides uh, Baycock on North Carolina's team has scored only one uh, basket. For Wake Forest, Bradford, three, Hildred, two. Monsanto, he's hit two threes for six points. Appleby has eight. 
smallest men on the on the court going right down the middle off little screens and uh, uh, the bench the bench <laughs> Kentman three points Marsh has eight and Williamson has four that's 15 points off the bench for Wake Forest Carolina's bench four points right now Carolina uh, field goal percentage 36.8 Wake Forest 62.5 Carolina three a zero for three from the three-point line Wake Forest is three of six for 50 percent free throws Carolina has shot six free throws and they've hit half of those Wake Forest only hit one <laughs> like you know what I'm saying they've only hit one they've only shot one and so they're a hundred percent they are out rebounding the Tar Heels. 14 to 8. They have four more assists than the Tar Heels. The turnovers are exactly the same. Alright, so that's how it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh I'm just I'm I'm starting to believe that we just this is this is just our team. This is the team this year. These are the teams that the Carolinas have produced this year. We just have to wait till next year and hopefully things will change up. Andrew shoots it short. We'll be back one day, guys. We'll be back one day. Had a good run last year. They caught. Misses but gets his own rebound, puts it back. Salvador Chavez, what's going on? What's up, Ron Duffney? What's going on? 21 34, six minutes and 34 seconds left before half. Hands up, he's going to shoot this one. Dang. Love comes out there with the rebound. Behind the back dribble, goes into his man, forces a shot up. Baycock still can't squeeze it. Still can't squeeze it. Williams goes right around Davis. You got to have to pass it, Baycock. Give it up. He does. He gives it to Davis. Davis escapes dribble, gets it back to Baycock. He finds the basket. 23-34 is the score. And Wake Forest calls a quick timeout with five minutes and 51 seconds left in half. In the half. So no, game. The game is never over, but boy, you just wish your 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 heels, our heels, would just play a little better than what we're doing right now. We're gonna we're gonna have our we're gonna have our spurts. We're gonna have our spurts. Gotta be consistent. And <laughs> hey guys, all I can say, all I can tell them is uh we just gotta play defense. We just gotta play defense. That's that's it. We got to focus on defense.
He's going to spin on you, love. Get your hands up. Don't give him baseline. Ten seconds to shoot. Good, good, hey, good switch. Appleby for three. It rims out. Nance. Guard gets the ball. That is Davis. They find Baycott. Baycott with a quick move. Goes up strong. And he is called for the travel. He did. It's now five minutes and nine seconds. Carolina picks up man-to-man -man full court. Appleby comes across the logo. Rapper back out on the court. Oh no, you can't hit that. Oh my gosh, and he does. Nice shot there, 23-37. Got to run him off that three. Love Johnson hands it to Love. Love misses another layup. Blocking foul called on Puff Johnson. Let it fly. Uses the bounce, creates Monsanto the with another three. That that is three threes for the young man. We know that's what he wants to do. Run him off the three, make him do something else. Another three shot, three point shot is good. Now everybody else is getting into the, the mix. Carolina closed it, and Carr just opened it back up. 23-40 is the score. Come on, man. Let's go. Move that ball. Go to the basket. Davis turns it over. It's just unforced right there. Monsantos gets it over to Appleby. Back to Monsanto. He takes a long three. Off the mark that time. Rebound, Nance. Love brings it down. Love finds Nance. Now they find the big man. He lays it in. Baycock. 4 2. 25 40 is the score. 3 19 left on the clock before halftime. We're gonna have to settle down here and uh and work into this lead, man. We're gonna have to break this lead down once again. Bradford, the ball up top. Now Appleby. Nice play call. Easy, easy scoring for the for the Deacons. 25-42 is the score. Nance with the ball up top. Five love. Screen set by Baycock. Love with a floater. In and out, but Baycock gets the rebound. He can't score. And that ball's going to Carolina. Two minutes and 35 seconds left before halftime. The score is 25-42. Seventeen point lead by the Demon Deacons. Will these guys cool off at home in the Joel? I don't know. They have cooled down just a little bit. A few minutes ago, they were 62% shooting. Now they're at 56. Carolina has stepped up just a little bit, 39.3% shooting. They have not hit a three-pointer yet. Uh, Wake still 50% from a three from behind the three-point arc. Uh, Carolina has closed the rebound uh, category to one. 
but Way still leads that by one, 16 to 15. Carolina assists still very low. Have they have not moved from that three? Uh, again, looks like everybody's uh, just passing the ball to get it to certain people, uh, those guards, and then uh, trying to isolate. But the only one seeming to have success is Baycock when they get it down to him. Uh, I haven't seen much double teaming from Wake Forest. Carolina now has five turnovers. Uh, these boys, these uh, our two, our two main guards, sort of looking like they did when they were freshmen. Uh, no one for Carolina is in foul trouble. Of course, not the the uh, Demon Deacons have not. Let's see how many free throws have they shot. The Demon Deacons still have one they've been to the they've been to the line once and they've hit that so they were 100 percent from the line carolina has not put them on the line uh i would say i would say when a team does not have any fouls sometimes it means they're not playing defense but hey duke had excellent defense against us uh this past weekend and only we only went to the line three times so um, Baycock, 13 points, 7 rebounds. Uh, everybody else still in this uh, for, for uh, North Carolina has 2 points. Nothing has changed. to the basket. He's fouled. What's up, Jermon? A little light blood. Is just me. Is just me. Or was that even a sloppy run? Yeah, it, it was, Sean. What's up, fellas? This team is so frustrating. Yep, whenever they need a three, they hit it on us. Let's play bench guys at this point. The starters aren't doing the thing. I mean, just to me, just somebody out there with some, with some, playing with some heart, you know. I, I could, I could take that loss. If you got guys out there just hustling, man, the other team's just better. We're gonna we're gonna get love. We're gonna get love that 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 shot. We're going to get love that shot. We need to work on a a, a quick a jumper. Baycott with the spin move again. He can't hit it. Puff Johnson gets the rebound. Appleby goes to the basket. He's blocked. And it's going to be out on Wake Forest. I think that was done with the three-point with the outside shot that uh, was missed. That block was by Love. Not give up on the play. One minute, 52 seconds left before halftime. Carolina down big, 25-44. Oh, come on, Carolina, what are we doing? Oh, goodness. What's up, Ray? It sure looks that way, oh, Ray. Looks like they have quit on us, on themselves. Appleby with the ball, love guarding them. Appleby's going to the basket. 
Picks up his dribble, throws it out. Leaky Black gets his hand on it. Still Carolina ball with six seconds left for the Deacons to shoot. 25-44 is the score. That is the score. Long three by Appleby. Misses. Come on, love. Shoot the ball. Don't just throw it. Let's go. Dang. Now Santo is fouled, shooting a three. Man, you just, it's, 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 it's so frustrating because once they start doing bad, it's like they can't get out of it. It's like they just can't settle down and say, hey, this is what we, this is what we need to do. And let's, let's just play ball. It's just like, okay, we can't score. So if Carolina can't score, they are not going to play great defense. That's, that's out. That's that's been the last three years. If they don't play good defense, excuse me, if they don't, if they're not scoring, they're not going to play, they're not going to play spirited defense. And we do that against a good team, you can't win. Oh my gosh, not another turnover, guys. Hey, we just. This is not Carolina. This is Duke in, in uh, Carolina Blue. Carolina Blue, guys. This is Duke last night in Carolina Blue. That's, that's all this is, right? Here. All right, shot clock is off. Carolina will go for the last one. The last shot, just so Wake Forest doesn't get a chance to shoot again. Yeah, because they got plenty. I, I never like this, just hold the ball, man. Just move the ball, keep moving the ball. Because that's what they're going to do, exactly what Duke did. Just foul, you got fouls to give. Run the offense. Run an offense, coach. Just hold the ball. Move it. All right, so that's how that uh, first half ends. And it just seems right now that Carolina is going the opposite direction uh, from where we were last year. Yep, not, not a good look right now. So, there it is. <laughs> uh, matchup predictor wasn't even close. They had that. Matchup predictor was like, okay, it's 50, 50. And I, and I know, I know the game is not over yet. Not, it's not over. You gotta, they got to play another half. Uh, but uh, matchup predictor at least gave Carolina a 49.6% chance to win this game. But the way we're playing right now is just, I mean, just really no no offense is like they don't understand. You got, I mean, is Wake Forest setting screens that that good, so good that that Appleby can just get to the basket without any effort? Um, <sighs> I 
are they shutting our guards down just I mean offensively just that well that no one has any points besides uh Baker. Everybody else has two. And at some point, at some point, Coach Davis, um your boy, our boy, love, at some point you gotta say, okay, he's having an off night. Why keep putting it in his hands and saying, here, run this play? What are we gonna just keep letting him shoot until he scores? Davis is out there too. Yo, know, and he's not he's not on. He's not on, but dang, like this really frustrating, man. Like I still, to me, if like if love's not hitting and Davis not hitting, Baycock, I'm gonna ride, we're gonna ride you to death. Not we got to get no we don't have to get them open we just need to score we don't have to get love points we just need to score i mean sure it will help but it, oh man i don't know guys i don't know somebody help me here i'm at a loss i'm at a loss i mean me personally i i mean like okay son you're not hitting them today but you can do other things all right we, 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 i'm not gonna force feed you I'm not gonna force feed you and and for you to miss all the sh these shots you're taking with me just trying to get because love I'm telling you love is not the type of kid that is gonna be like oh I missed five shots in a row I I'm, I'm gonna be enthusiastic to keep on taking and he's gonna take the shot he's gonna take the shot but in his in his head I guarantee you love right now is in his head he don't he don't want that. And then he's not gonna play defense, and missing shots like that. That's the key. We're not gonna play defense and miss shots like that. And, and Carolina just is not the, they're not a team to understand that even though we're not scoring at a great clip right now, we gotta keep playing defense. I mean, aggressive defense. We're just out there, guys. We're just out there. I'm sorry, we're just, you know, we're just acting like we don't know how to play defense. Like, you you don't realize that if, if we're letting Appleby Blow by the first guy, and, and three guys come to him. He's an app. He's a point guard. He knows how to put the ball in someone else's hand. And and the other players on the team knows that if their guy leaves to go help out, make yourself seen. Alfie is going to get me the ball. We've got two guys that could do it. Love can come off the screen and, 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 and dish the ball. Davis definitely can come off the screen and dish the ball. So to me, it seems like we've got we've got an advantage if we set the screen and uh, we really work at it. I don't know, but there's another half. Let me let me read what you guys are thinking here. No lane defense ever, especially since Virginia game, and they're shooting. It's awful, but Nick Nicholas, I mean Nickel in for for range. Or put Nickel in for range. Hey. <laughs> Again, guys, I do not understand our coaching substitution routine. I don't understand it. Sometimes a guy will get playing time and then sometimes it's like he's not even part of the team. I don't, I don't understand how coach goes about deciding who's gonna play. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You got a, you got a bench full of guys that should have been getting playing time. Uh, I guess for this very moment right here, this very type of game, and uh, they just have it. So they don't have the experience that we should have. At, uh, uh, with with a bench that we've got, with the bench we got, we've got some guys on the bench, but and <laughs> and now and then coach can't he can't do her, her, uh can't do the Carolina uh, that, you know, Carolina thing where uh, all all the coaches you know Roy. All the guys have gotten frustrated with the first team and have just taken the five starters out and put the next five in. 
but like who's our next pop? I mean that strategy has worked a few times. It's, it's worked a lot. But we don't we don't have he doesn't have a group of guys together in that second team to be able to do it. I mean that would have been it would have been great to do that and send the message. He did sub some guys in, but to just take those guys out abruptly, all five of them, and say here. Come on, Washington, you're out there. Trimble, you're out there. Uh, Pub Johnson, uh, Tyler Nickel, and uh, who else? Oh, we got you got Dunn. You got I mean, you know, he, he's got guys that could do it. He could do it with, but I, just, I guess it's just not Hubert's Hubert's thing. All right, but we got another, got another, uh, got another half to go. Got another twenty minutes to go. Sean is seeing is a joke, bro. Will Ray, it isn't working. Uh, well, Sean, I'm guessing Hubert Davis thinks positive affirmation works for this squad. Agreed, and we're not working at all. Tonight, love is missing all close ones. They make dumb passes. I mean, this, this is the lowest IQ team I've seen in Carolina. Uh, this is the worst three-point shooting in program history easily the first the first half was was scream the second half will be oh scream one well scream i got you scream and the second half will be scream two <laughs> you would never establish our depth from day one they kept saying it's nba substitution with that it's college Get guys out there, right? <sighs> All right, so Carolina will come out here. We'll make a run, but if we don't play defense, it's not going to matter. It's 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 going to be like it never happened. We'll we'll make a little run, but it'll be like it never happened if we continue to let uh, Wake Forest get anything they want at least shut something down you know get all up in 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 uh in, in uh San, it was name santos Mon santos let's see i got you right here yeah get in Mon santos face and make him shoot something other than a three uh, Appleby t tonight, I guess he's just gonna get his. But right there, you got Monsanto and you got Appleby with 22 points uh, for Wake Forest. And whoever is guarding Appleby is just gonna have to be a beast. You got, I mean, you just gotta make him pick his dribble up, yo. Know? You, you gotta fight through the screen. We've got, got, we've got, not only we have guys helping, but then we've got, we've got three guys helping. And as soon as they take that one step off their guy to help out uh, on Appleby, he finds the open guy. So the little alley-oops and the little, the, the little drop down passes, that just makes it look even worse. All right, Wake Forest has though, they have cooled off a bit. They were shooting 62%, now 51.4. Carolina has cooled off, too. They, they did bring it up to about 34, 35, I think it was. Now they're down to 33. Uh, 0 for 5 from uh, the three-point line. Way far is 5 of 11, 45%. Uh, percent. Carolina has shot six free throws, and so has Wake Forest now. Um... What's going on with the free throws? We're just not able to get to the line now. I mean, you know, to the front of the rim and draw a foul. Rebounds, dead even, 2020. Uh, assists, Carolina is not moving. Well, 
even if we're moving the even we're not even we're not moving the ball and we're not moving without the ball, so assists are not gonna be there. Turnovers Carolina has seven. And at least three of them, at least two of them were unforced. Alright, with that said, we'll be right back. Even though this is a uh, deep, even though this is a struggle to even watch uh, Carolina family, thank you guys for being here. Thank you, thank you everyone for hitting that like button. I think it looks different for some reason going through motions. Guys, going through a little bit of technical technical difficulties, but we'll have it straight here in a hot second. Again. 
Baycock. It's going to be called for another travel. Right now, even the big man is filling it. Filling it. All right, 25-49 is the score. All the way for us got to do is uh, just keep scoring, playing a little defense, and they can win this game. That's, come on, that's not a carry? Wow, four seconds to shoot. Carolina with the steal. Love to the basket. And scores. All right, love, you got to see the man in the ball. That is terrible defensive posture right there. And Los Santos still scoring. Mickey Ladd picks up his dribble. Carolina gets it back up top to Love. Love at the elbow. I don't know what that was. Wow. Davis gets to the elbow. He pulls up. Here's the short. Rebound, Leaky Black. Leaky Black. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. He'll drift with the layup at the other end. 27 53 is the score. Ricky Black. And, and a legal screen set by, I think that was by uh, Baycock. Are we are are we just that bad of a team? And uh, and is Wade Forest just that much better? These teams that are beating us like this? Yes, Baycott, that is a foul, big man. You can't run into a guy and then slap down. That's a foul. Once again, we just. Okay. It is a frustration foul, but you know it's like we don't, we can't score. This is what we do. Got to keep playing. The face is always so similar, no matter the situation. Keldra is trying to muscle it up over Davis. No, that is. Belongs to North Carolina. 27-53 is the score. Feels very similar to the game Carolina played here in Winston-Salem last season. Love comes off the screen. Point loss for Hubert Davis's bunch. Out of control. Nance kept it alive. Nance in the lane. Finds Love and takes a three. He scores. Carolina gets caught standing around on, on, on defense. Screen set. Davis with another turnover. Wake Forest comes down. Euro step. Nicky Black with the rebound. Behind the back in traffic. Gets it to Davis. Davis to the rim. Reverse layup is good. Appleby sprints up the left side of the court. Appleby to the front of the rim. Turn around jumper. No good. Nance with the rebound. Now Love comes out of there with it. He's on the right side. Sets comes off the screen and shoots a three. I hate to see it. Hate to see it. (laughs) 
I hate to see it, but uh, and I hate to say it, but uh, yeah, I I hope I hope Love, I hope he does go pro. Then coach will have to come up with a different offensive uh, style of play. <laughs> Cause boy, it's, I I can't stand this. Just I can't stand this. Give it to Love and here Love, just keep shooting. Here Love, come off the screen, keep shooting. Love, love, love. I mean, I guess Davis has the, the right to do the same thing, but. And I and I and I guess what do you do when your big man is is on the bench too? So. All right, so we got a timeout. Uh, he may have lost his touch with this current team because they aren't responding to him well. Yeah, Love should uh, have left last year. We don't have a true point guard. But hey, a look on the bright side. Things are looking optimistic for the future of Carolina basketball with all the new recruits coming in. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm, I'm sure they're looking and saying, hey, this, this would be a good spot for me. You know, definitely he's going to get uh, uh, media attention and uh, Love and Davis will probably leave. I'm pretty sure Love is, is out of here. Davis, Davis, I don't know, Davis got some options. He could he could stay. I'm, I, I think he's going to leave, but he he might want to hang on another year with no Baycock gone. So... Yeah, but it's still it's still frustrating to watch right now. And we we always get some athletes. I want us to get some shooters. Like 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 go recruit somebody that shoots the dang ball, that just shoots it. Not and I'm and there is a difference between scorers and shooters. We need a shooter. We need a couple of shooters. And they may not look like great athletes or whatever, but if you can fill it up, man, find a couple of guys that can come in the bench and uh, come off the bench if you're not going to start them for whatever reason. And uh, that can just straight up shoot the ball. The, the guys are out there. You know, everybody everybody likes the, ap the athletes, the athletic guy that can dunk and slam and get to the rim. I need a couple of guys that can put it in the basket. From outside, just shoot it, just stroke it. They're out there. We just gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta be willing to go look for them. Clemson and Miami are considered as a big dog this year in ACC. <laughs> the three ball. No easy. Look at that. Come on, guys. Like, to the front? To the front of the rim, baby? Yeah. Appleby had a back brace on right at halftime. So, I wonder if he's just feeling it. Thank 
Jacobs and Chuderon worked on their press offense. He also, both coaches spent a lot of time on situations tonight, today, at their, at their practice. 32-57 is the score. We talked about how pressure played a, a big part in the first meeting. And Wake Forest only four turnovers. Wake Forest breaks the timeline, hands the ball to Appleby. 15-04 left in the second half. Appleby to the front of the rim is blocked by Nance. Love to the basket for a good for the layup. That's the vertical play I'm talking about. But look how quickly Wick is back at it. And then Carolina gets beat down the court. And the alley hoop layup is good. Free throw was missed on the other end. Carolina comes down and scores. With Marsh supplying 10 of those. Bobby Clinton moves it for Carr. Carr takes a long three, misses. Love stops when he has the smaller guy down low. Don't understand that. And Ops up Johnson has it. Well, Johnson goes to the basket. He's fouled on the play. He's knocked down hard. Johnson does just that. Takes a hard fall as he gets fouled. Fourteen oh five left in the second half. Carolina doing a bit of struggling. Last year, North Carolina shot thirty six percent from the three point line. This year is thirty percent. It definitely has changed the space. In their offense. Thank you guys for the 12 likes. I appreciate it. Puff Johnson steps up and hits a free throw. All right, there's nothing in that can be done about this, guys. All we do is watch and cheer for our team. So let's just get positive. <laughs> All right, here we go. Puff Johnson steps up. Puff hits both of his free throws. 38-59. Carolina with a little bit of pressure. Santos goes for the slam. He misses. Puff Johnson comes out of with it. Too much dribbling. And a blocking foul caught on Monsantos. Excuse me, that's Clint Clintsman. Against Duke, who ran into that Miami buzzsaw last night in Coral Gables. I had to double check the score when I saw it pop That's going to put Pub back on the line. For the play for K at NC State. Scoring uh, while the clock is stopped. Although, I will say this I do think Virginia is the best team, and I think right now Miami and NC State are close. Well, Johnson hits it's another free throw. Season, and Kevin Keats has his team playing their best basketball right now. NC State's won eight of their last nine. They're hot. Well, Coach never takes love out. He never going to take love out, boy, for any amount of time. That's that's called love for a player, boy. He is not going to take him out. All right, love, call for a foul. Trying to deny the pass. Trying to deny that pass to Appleby. 40 to 59 is the score. In the mid post off the lane. Are they going to double that? And then their ball screen coverage is on Joyner and Smith for NC State. Those guys have chips. It is Appleby now on Nance. Putting them in the ringer. And then you factor in Burns, who's playing more minutes now for NC State. And they are surging. Shot clock winding down. And, and we give up, don't we? Finish with the left we give hand. up, don't we? Down to 19 with still 13 plus. Love finds Nance. Nance is going to do a turnaround. Trying to cut that 22 point halftime deficit. The hook shot is good for Nance. Around the 10 minute mark. 
They're going to put a little bit of uh, trap pressure. Stop the ball. Somebody's got to stop it. I think that's Clintman. Carolina trying to keep it out of the hands of Appleby. Yeah, trying to keep it from Appleby. Trying to deny. 4259 is the score. Tyler Nickel getting playing time. 13 to go, and already the one and one for Wake Forest. That's really early to put a team in a bonus. You know, Coach Davis can't be pleased with that. <laughs> Just put. Yeah, Just put them in the bonus. Look, 13. Yeah. The bench, which gave him four. That's why he's not playing right now. I don't know how long Coach Davis is going to wait to put Armando back in the game. We can kind of wait to see if you can make a run and make a game of it, right? All right. And Another free throw is missed by Wade. Rebound by Leaky game. Black. Love. Maybe that's when you see him. Has that ball stolen yeah, from him. Away from Love. And <laughs> almost got it back. And now Nance fouls Appleby. When it rains, it pours. 42-59 is the score. 12 minutes and 45 seconds left. Wake Forest fans had a little issue with the hustle play right here and the foul by Nance. It's a foul. Play on the ball. Hard foul. Play on. Yeah, there's no such thing as the clear pass. That wasn't hard foul. So if it's anything, it would be a flagrant one in that case. And certainly not. And Appleby makes Appleby good steps up and hits the one and one. his free throw. 84% free throw shooter. And if you're just joining us, Armando Baycat still sits with his four fouls. Appleby makes both. Seth Trimble has come into the game. He will run the point here for Carolina with Love. Seth Tremble in. Now Love gets it to Nance. Nance thought about the three. Hands it to Tyler Nickel. Nickel. Off, the, off screen, the screen. Back to Nance. For Nance. Nance. Strong finish. Good no call as well. That's a principal verticality. Nance the goes through the defender and scores 44-61. Still 12 minutes and 20 seconds left. Appleby in here in the taking his time. He's on the Wake Forest logo. Being guarded by Love. For North Carolina. Goes baseline, gets it back. We'll be trying to shoot Shoots a three. It's off Trimble with trimble. the rebound. I thought he was going to hit Tyler Nickel. Trimble, off the bounce, trimble. goes to the basket and is blocked by Carr. And we got a timeout. Carolina trying to inch their way back and slice into the hefty deficit. With 11 minutes and 56 seconds on the clock, Carolina 44, Wake Forest 61. Box score time. Box score time. Baycott, 13 points. He has eight rebounds. Nance has eight points. Leaky Black, two points. Davis has four. Caleb Love has nine points off the bench. Pub Johnson, four points. Washington, two. Trimble has two points. Uh, Mondo Baycock has four fouls. He is now sitting on the bench. Uh, Pope Johnson has three. And that is all the foul trouble North Carolina has for Wake Forest. Now there are three players who are in double figures. And that would be Monsanto with 14. Appleby has 16. And Marsh has 10. Uh, Bradford and Carr have five points apiece. Uh, Hildred has four. Clintman has a three and Williams has four points. Uh, Carolina is now shooting 40% from the field and Wake Forest shooting 47.9. 
Carolina's shot seven uh, three pointers and hit one. Wake Forest 13 of five. Free throws, Carolina 10. They have hit seven out of 10. Wake Forest 10 out of 12. Rebound, Carolina uh, has uh, not quite, not double, but Carolina has 33 rebounds to Wake Forest 22. Uh, five assists to nine assists, five to nine uh, on the in the assist category for Carolina uh, and Wake Forest. Turnovers, Carolina has 12 turnovers, and the largest lead has been 26. Uh, with that said, there's still 11 minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Where Carolina's going to find the scoring from, uh, your guess is as good as mine, but you just got to keep chipping at it. All right, 44-61 is the score. Carolina gets the ball out of the uh, timeout. Pete Nance misses the short short shot and uh, fouls. Wake Forest started six and two in the league in year three under Steve Forbes. Then a four-game losing skid against really a challenging. Monsanto's at the line. It's both three straight two -point free throws. And then Wake Forest is in the Saturday bonus in South Bend, Indiana against Notre Dame. Nance shoots the three. Back iron, long Davis tries to get that rebound, but Appleby comes out of there with it. Monsanto shoots a quick three. Davis trying to find his shot. Got to the free throw line, turned it down. Now he goes behind the three point line. And draws iron, but not there. Why? I don't know why he didn't pull up at the free throw line. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. Took a tough, tough shot. Carr gets that to Williams. Now back out there. I think that is Appleby with it. Way has eight seconds to shoot. Ten minutes and 53 seconds left in the game. 44 to 63 is the score. Thank you all for being here. All seven people in the house, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't. And think about subscribing to the channel. Williams finds Monsanto. He shoots another long three. Nance gets the rebound, hands it off to Davis. Davis crossover drill, finds Tyler Nickel. Nothing there. Gets it back to Tremble at the top of the key. Now a little triangle offense going on there. They're getting it to Davis. Davis is... Foul going to the basket. That foul's gonna be on Carr. Team shoots into a thimble sized basket. RJ Davis, quiet again, like we said. He's a guy I know his game you absolutely love. I do. Uh, I think he answers what I call the three W's. Who to get the ball to, when and where. He's good in their ball screen offense. Carolina. Sets up a box, comes out, finds Tyler Nickel, and then Nance. Now Love shoots a quick three, misses. Like everything is set up for Love. Love. I hate that. I hate the hate on him, but everything is set up for him. Ten shots, but the lead's still large. And Adams 
Wake Forest comes down to score 65. Carolina scores a few, but then uh, Wake Forest comes back and, and extends that lead. Nine minutes, 48 seconds. Appleby, quick shot. That's a two. I thought it was a two. I guess not. Davis hits a floater. That's what I was talking about earlier about R.J. Davis. In that middle ball screen, getting to the 46 67. Up and down Nine minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. Seth Time. Tries his hand on yeah, you can, I mean, with that big lead, you got to say time's becoming a factor. Monsanto's going cold a little bit. Davis. Come on, Davis. That was you right there. Seth Tremble with the layup, though. Little dime drop there by Davis. Oh, you got to rip that. He is an exciting player in large part for what he has done already on the defensive end. As Davis fouls Appleby, Appleby making Davis first. work. 48-67 is the score. Seth Trimble has not scored in the last six games. And he makes this play right here. Look at the athleticism to get to the other side of the rim. I know Tokito is calling him and saying, bro, you got to shoot the ball. He gets so low defensively. He, he credits the quads for Seth Trimble being able to lock guys up. He was Appleby misses the front. ESPN 100 out of Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. And Armando Baycott returns to this game with 8.51 to go. So he had sat since the 17th. 8.51 left in this game. Armando Baycott comes back in. He has four fouls. And you better believe once the ball, once Wake Forest gets the ball down there, they're going to go right at him. I don't think, uh, Wake, uh, I don't think Armando can stay in the game. He puts his hands, he, his hands are down defensively. Although he does, he had, had them up there. Terrell pick, Dave picks up the dribble, hands out to Baycott. Love. Gets it back over to Davis. Screen set by Baycott. Baycott goes to the basket. Davis steps through and he's fouling the play. 20 point lead by the Demon Deacons with 8 minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. The love confidence. He could be 0 and 20. No, he'll shoot it when it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He will definitely shoot the ball. He is going to shoot the ball. Best believe that. Then he got hot, and then again, Syracuse dislocated the same finger again, and he's been quiet over these last few games. But his offensive numbers in ACC um, play have been better. His percentages in shooting the basketball from two and from three have been good inside conference play. They've got it down to 18 as Trimble got a block on Appleby, and then goes for a piggyback drive. Love is three for 16 Monsanto from the field. The saying, hey, I'm right here. Line, he is confident. Yeah, he he doesn't lose any confidence no matter comments. what. You have to imagine with Damari Monsanto. <laughs> but look, the only person to come even close to Love numbers being down. shot is Baycock. And Baycock has been out of the game. You well, know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, and course, it should, we Baycock should have. Before their Probably the most, if you ask me. But he was talking about Monsanto and said, "Yeah, he's one of the best shooters I've ever played with." But boy, really does he get nice. on my nerves? <laughs> if I'm not shooting that good, I'm not continuing to shoot. But that's, well, I guess yeah, that does speak of the confidence of of, of, uh, of of love had to and, and the confidence of Coach Davis to <laughs> have him continue to shoot. Coming into the game. Since the LSU game, he's made 50 threes. Be something if we were getting rebounds off his missed shots. Once Love gets the roll. Love finally gets that floater to go. 52-69. Eight minutes. Elbow mid-range. 
Appleby. Lead pass. Let's go. We got a oh, we had a chance. Come on, baby. Let's go. Yep, I think that run out is a is an easy layup and we can't handle the ball. All right. So uh on our next timeout, with our timeout right here, Carolina is now 52-69. If you're just joining us, yeah, that is the score. Fifty-three sixty-nine. Um, but if you look at the second half, Carolina has outscored Wake Forest uh, by five points. Yeah, the bad thing about that was they they were down forty-seven to twenty twenty-five at half. 22 points. Yeah, we'll let, let the app catch up. All right, there it is. Finally caught up. Thank us for letting us vent in the 90s. A game like this would have resulted in a broke, in broken furniture. Right. Right, definitely. I know over here it would have something. We just, just metal, just calm, calm down. I've calmed, I've calmed down a lot. I'm sure you have too, Ray. <laughs> but yeah, the way we're playing this year—that's part. That's that's what. That's part of what this channel is. <laughs> Let the uh, fam, uh, Carolina family vent, and we've had, we've had things to vent about, man. Just you know how our, our football season at Carolina started off, and then ended. Uh, didn't even win our bowl game. Uh, the way my my uh, the way my Hornets are playing now, it is it is like horrendous. It's horrendous, and it doesn't matter who we get, who we draft. You know, even if we get the the Victor kid, I think that's his name. Or whatever his name is. No matter if we get him, if we don't change the way we go about playing defense and offense, it's not going to matter. Not going to matter having a PM ball because we're trying to outscore everyone. All right, we're back. Love pulls up, finds Davis. They go back to Baycock. We try to go baseline, spin move, hook shot, off the mark, rebound. Wake Forest. Alvey dribbles to the left. Crossover dribble taking their sweet time with seven minutes and 16 seconds. Time becoming a factor for North Carolina. Leaky Black with the rebound, missed shot by Appleby. Leaky Black off the bounce on Monsanto. Nobody to give it to. Leaky Black shoots over. Mondo Baycock with the rebound. And I think Carr is going to be the guilty party to foul Baycock. Send it to the free throw line. Five offensive rebounds a game. That's his fourth offensive rebound. 52-69 is the score. 
Why do I have 53? 25 first half points for North Carolina. He has not scored here in the second. Bangkok does hit the free throw. So it is now. It is 53 now. Bangkok hits both. To do that and come to completion. Someone he idolizes, and he's got it stamped on that right leg. Appleby, another lob, and Davion Bradford gets fouled by R.J. Davis. And he's got Tony Montana on the other side of the same leg. One of the great personalities across college basketball. 54 69 is the score. Six minutes and 42 seconds. Left in this game, North Carolina faces Wake Forest for at Wake Forest. For his career. And looking ahead at some upcoming women's basketball games for Wake Forest in North Carolina. Over on ACC Network, the Deeks host number 22, NC State. It is a 15 point lead. All right, Davis, screen set by Baycott. Davis, ooh, I don't know what that was. Leaky Black comes out of there with it. Pug Johnson finds Leaky. Good escape dribble, but oh my gosh, what a bad, I mean, we're just not, we're not hitting anything, like just, ooh. Stop settling for the three. It's not, it's not, I mean, I got you, but we ain't got, we ain't got to do that. But that was, uh, that's uncharacteristic. Of Davis, missed everything, but that's how it is, man. Appleby finds Bradford. Easy layup. Love finds Puff Johnson. Davis picks up his dribble. Gets that to Love. Love upset about uh, no call there. Almost a steal by Davis. Now to get it out to Appleby. 56 72 is the score. Five minutes and 16 seconds left. From Carolina's ball screen coverage, Tyree Appleby has navigated it. On the pitch back, Carr. Carr for three, misses. Rebound, Baycock. Need a guard to come and get this rebound, uh, get this ball, and they do finally love. Love goes to the basket, throws it off the glass. Carolina still cannot, cannot score. And as the Patriots of the Joel Coliseum are filling it with four minutes and 41 seconds left. They knew the assignment going up against Armando Baycat. That ball touches the official along Who's the Who's standing line. out of bounds, so it is their ball. Right 56-72 is the score. You know, Wake Forest started the game and really Four minutes, 38 seconds. Really Hildreth got out to a 10 point lead. gets that ball in to... Appleby just hasn't had it tonight at all. And now Appleby has the big guy on him. Got He's tasting it. Shoots a long down. three. Off the mark. Davis, Davis the with the rebound. Nobody running. Puff Johnson, on the drive. Puff Johnson the finds Baycott. He's fouled and finishes. it's good. The, the layup is good. Fifty-eight seventy-two. Appleby's numbers as we take a look at Armando Baycott making himself available on the baseline penetration using the board. Four minutes and eighteen seconds. Appleby is zero for six from the three-point line. And think about all that ball screen coverage in the first half and how North Carolina defended it. He got in the paint at will. Baycott misses. Yet again, another missed free throw for Carolina. 
He'll just bring the ball to the court. Oh, quick shot. You better hit that. And he misses. You got to come out of the game if Carolina scores right here. Davis. Move the ball one time, Davis. And Carolina is in the bonus now. Carolina shooting. And the clock stopped. Always a good thing. Three minutes and 57 seconds. Might as well, might as well say four minutes left. Progressive Insurance. It's easy to bundle your home and car insurance at Progressive.com. Nine people in the chat. Thank you guys for being here today. It's uh, been a, a tough one to watch. But that's just how it is. <laughs> So we got 58, 58, 70, 72, 58, 72. Yeah, those little runs, like I said, those little runs that Carolina would have, uh, it just, it just doesn't matter if we can't stop the other team from scoring. Armando Baycock, 17 points, 11 rebounds. He's 3 of 5 from the free throw line. Um, 7 of 15 from the field. Pete Nance, 8 points. Black, 2 points. Davis has 8 points. Um, Davis is 3 of 10 from the field. Love, 13 points. He is 5 of 19 from the field. Uh, Puff Johnson has 4. Washington, 2 points. Trimble, 4. For Wake Forest, Bradford has 8 points. He had 6 rebounds. Carr, 5 points. Hildreth, 4. Monsanto, 16. He is 4 of 11. From the field, three of nine from the three-point line, 100% uh, from the free throw line. Appleby, 20 points. I think he said he was the second leading scorer in the ACC. He's six of 20 from the field. He's 0 of six from the three-point line. Uh, 0 of 10, uh, eight of 10 from the free free throw line. Uh, Kentman. Kitman five points. Marsh off the bench with ten, and Williamson Williamson with four points. Uh, the percentage shooting percentage is a little bit uh more even now. Carolina thirty seven point seven. Wait for us, 43.3. Uh, free throw shooting. Carolina is 11 to 15. Wait for us, 15 to 20. Rebounds. Carolina dominating at 44 to 32. And we are back, and Davis is on the line. Davis hits his first free throw. Brian, what's going on? This is not like the Tar Heels. They are better than this. I don't know. I don't know where it's been. All right, 60 to 72 with three minutes. Basically, four minutes left on the clock. It's a 12-point lead. Now, Wake Forest is going to have to just buckle down and play good basketball here. Carolina, see, let's see if we stay aware and in touch defensively. Oh, don't hit that, Apple. Is that Baycock? If that is Baycock, it is it. You know, it was a good use of the timeout by Steve Forbes because this team was getting a little too casual for a couple of possessions. 
Yeah, I, I did. I didn't think Baker would be able to stay in there. Uh, I don't. I, I would like to see the play again. See exactly how he fouled him. If his hands were down like this, just no excuse. You got to get those hands up, big man. Armando Baycott was so big early in this game for North Carolina. Didn't have a whole lot of help around him. He exits with 17 and 11. And in the second half, only able to play. You got to miss one, Appleby. He picked up his Appleby foul. misses another free throw. Three full minutes out of halftime. Three minutes, 35 seconds. I put Leaky Black back out there for some. Appleby misses both. Can Carolina capitalize? Dude, we don't need a quick three, love. Don't need a quick three. Move the ball one time. Love to the basket. Oh, and he scores. And it's a 10 point lead, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes, 26 seconds, 11 o'clock on the clock. And like I said, stranger things have happened. They're not going to call a foul, love. Just keep playing. Just keep playing. All right. We're in another timeout. Wake Forest has to call a timeout. 10-point lead. That was a good uh, call. A good timeout by the coach for Wake Forest. Somehow, Carolina has come back uh, from, I know it's been oh, more than 20 points here to get it down to 10. Isaiah Morgan, what's going on, dude? Isaiah in the house. Thank you all for being here, all of you. Like I said, uh, it's been tough to watch, but uh, appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Yep, make sure you hit that like button. 14 likes, not bad at all, not bad at all. You just have to be, just have to be right. I will say they have shown some grit, but that doesn't play uh, play with faithful tonight. Uh, what was the grit at the tip off? Yeah, not even not even just at the tip off, but like when they got down. Where you know where you got to keep playing. You can't just you can't just quit. You know, hey, it's dang, he a college player. You just can't quit me. And give up and that's what it looked like they did see and uh, uh, you gotta understand that no matter what the other team is not gonna stop playing just because you are feeling sorry for yourself they're gonna continue to play so so that it so later in the late in the game later in the game if you decide to play you know, uh, we saw, we scored a few baskets. Like I said, if we start scoring, Carolina will play a decent amount of defense. Uh, also, also, if Wake Forest comes down and takes bad shots like they did the play before that, a quick three. That helps Carolina. All right, three minutes and 17 seconds left. Wake Forest is going to try to run the time off the clock before they score. Tremble on Appleby. Turns down the screen. Oh, why you switch? Don't switch. Get a hand up. Get a hand up. 
Good block. Look, give it up one time. Give it up to one time. No, give it back to you. No! Why? Why? You got plenty of time. Like two minutes. Get the ball inside. Ah, uh, you don't have to. The dagger was not needed, right? That's not a dagger anyway. That three wasn't needed. You're not getting them. So why shoot it? Man, you could at least got two points right there. Come on now. Give it up one time. They'll give it back to you. Now Davis is doing the same thing. Tyler Nickel, bank shot. Oh! And rebound by Puff Johnson. The 10 point lead again. Get in front of him. Turn him. Oh! I thought that was going to be a travel. Wake Forest gets the ball into cooler, cooler hands. And Appleby is fouled, sending him to the line. It just depends. It was not a great foul, but then Appleby has missed free throws. Hey Mike, yeah, I hope they do too, man. Just you know, Appleby steps up and sinks the free throw. With a minute and 59 seconds, basically two minutes on the clock. Thanks, I think Wake Forest has weathered the storm with with the only scoring threats we have out there. Uh, it just can't get done. But yeah, the, the, the grit to, to keep playing. We don't need a three. We just get to, there you go, Puff, to the basket. Yes, what are you doing, baby? Sixty-four seventy-six is the score. One minute forty-eight seconds on the clock. Wake Forest can't get out of this game. We keep picking up fouls. They keep picking up fouls. Carolina is in the bonus also. Got to hit this free throw though, Nance. Carolina is Carolina is 13 14 of 17 14 of 18 Come on that hey coach at, at some point refs when does that become an offensive foul He's not he's not trying he's not trying to create space and get away he's running into the offensive the defensive play I know you're not. I know they're not going to call it, but come on, now. You got to miss one, Applebee. All right, score now 65 78 looks a little more respectable, but uh, uh, doesn't seem like doesn't look like Carolina's gonna have enough to uh, to over this lead that Wake has especially once again with the scoring the scoring power we have out there it's just not going to be enough plus Wake you, you know what we're going to do we're not going to come down and run an offense we're going to dribble 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 and let love 
Corey Davis shoot the ball outside. That's it. There's no out. There's no inside threat now. So there's nobody going to be cutting to the basket. It's all ISO. See how many times we pass the ball. One, two. Now Nicholas Fowl shooting a three-point shot. And Monsantos and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons cannot get out of their own way. Down the stretch in the regular season. And how much of a threat in the ACC tournament. But the key here is can we hit free throws? Put the blue team in. <laughs> that fat lady has definitely sung. Ty Nichols steps up and hits the first 66-78. One minute, 37 seconds on the clock. Kyle Nickel hits two in a row. Seth Trimble coming off the bench. Kyle Nickel, three in a row. And it's back down to a 10-point lead. All right, Trimble fouls quickly. One minute, 32 seconds on the clock. Hey, coach, coach, you don't. There's a lot of guys you don't play, so you can get them out there. And if you want to do the foul, play the foul game. You got plenty of fouls on the bench over there. Oh, get out of there, ball! Gildress misses a free throw. But here's the thing, Carolina's going to come down and jack up a three, a quick three. I know it's only a minute, 32 seconds on the clock, but, uh, and who's going to shoot it? Go ahead, pass the ball one time, pass it one time. There you go. There you go. Go to the basket. There you go. There you go. Did you go to the basket? They stop the clock. That's even better. It ain't got to be a three-point shot right right now. That's a, a minute and 27 seconds on the clock, especially if Wake Forest is going to keep fouling. A combined 50 free throws in the game so far tonight. That's a lot of free throws. Part of it is because Wake Forest was in double bonus so early, around the 12-minute mark in the second half. And for Cam Hilger, always so tough for this way for his team to eat the parts. Cam Hilger Williams. goes out. I used to think this was automatic. I need to hit the free throw. But Davis does step up and hit that one. The committee wants to put UNC in tournament, but they are going to give them a reason not to. Yep. They definitely do. All right, still a whole minute and 24 seconds left on the clock. Wait for us. They just got to hit their free throws. Eventually, Coach Davis. <laughs> Eventually, Coach Davis will probably be like, hey, let's, uh, let's concede, but I guess that'll be around 40 seconds or something like that. Katie Moore, what's up? That's why you shot so many free throws. So I guess, I guess now at some point you might start looking for threes, especially if we're going to foul. We got to, we got to figure out a way to, to get, to get some points to, uh, we can't trade baskets with them. We got to get that uh, extra point somewhere. Kimball and Lee Cassell get together for a conversation. And you see for Appleby, he 
also has six rebounds. Only ACC player in a league game this year, 25 and 10. And it looks like has a fan been yeah, tossed here from the front row? I think out. so. A fan has been tossed. Well, that's not pleasant things to say, apparently. Davis. Good. What are y'all doing? Wait for us? Are you serious? Wait for us. <laughs> I mean, North Carolina is doing a good job of extending this game to the best of their ability right now. Hey, wait for us is helping. Best free, second best free throw shooter in the league. Well, you got to show you the best free throw shooter. Davis gets another. Ties this one up. Still with night with 119 left on the clock. You gotta get a steal. 16 people in the house. Thank you guys for being here today. Davis hits both. And then there's a steal. But what will we do? Will we shoot a will we try to shoot a three or go quickly and score? Davis! No! Why shoot, why shoot it that far out, though, man? Why? I mean, why even take that? You still, I mean, we still, it's still more than a minute on the clock. Why take that shot? Go to the basket. They're going to foul you. They've been fouling you. Go to the basket. Get fouled. Go to the basket. Hit a lay. I mean, take an easier shot. <sighs> yeah, if you hit that, great, but that's not Davis's shot. There's nobody shot on North Carolina team. That was our shot right there. <laughs> we got the steal, and I knew we were going to jack up a three. He's already made 14 free throws. He makes the first. We got a Kevin in the studio. For a minor audience coming your way, Kentucky hosting Arkansas tip-off over there in Lexington. Right There's now. the swing, Football ladies and gentlemen. You can watch that game. NIT is for young teams. Right. We will go live. <laughs> Arkansas at Kentucky, back to you. Sorry to hear that, Isaiah. What's wrong? All right, Hawks and Cats fans, we promise we will get you to run. All this goes final. A minute to go in regulation. Wake by 11. Carolina won't go quietly. Caleb Love with a three, still 53.8 seconds on the clock. 75-83 is the score. Sorry to hear that, Isaiah. What's wrong, Isaiah? I'm good. I'm depressed right now. Hey, Isaiah, get better. Sorry to hear you depressed. Why can't we play with this sense of urgency from the start? Uh, yes, Ray. Why can't we? Oh. All right, Carolina stringing the 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 game out. Plus, Wake Forest not helping themselves because they are they are committing they are committing just as many fouls as North Carolina is. Uh, putting Appleby on the line. Uh, last six shots, Appleby has, has, uh, has made those. He did miss two earlier. Seventy-five, eighty-four is the score. Uh, it's going to be a three-point shootout. Well, it's going to be three-point shooting right now for North Carolina every time now. Uh, if we can get open three-point shots, great. If we have to force them, if we have to force shots, they're going to be contested. I will move the ball one time and then shoot it. Love again, straight on. And he hits another. 78-85. But uh, Coach Davis and the Tar Heels have no more timeouts right here. Seventy-eight, eighty-five. 
Man, we got a we got a steal a few minutes ago. Got a steal a few minutes ago, and uh, we I think that three point shot that Davis took a few minutes ago was on the W of Wake Forest. Prolong in the inevitable. And Wake Forest hasn't been able to get the shots to fall here in this second half. And now it changed the North Carolina pressure on every inbound. How does North Carolina get that turnover? Because right now they're trading the guys. Forty eight with that speed on Armando Big Dog is not available. He has found out of the game. He's only playing. Twenty one people in the chat. Make sure you guys hit that like button. I appreciate it so very much. 78.85 is a score. And Appleby, we can go ahead and take a look at it right now. Appleby has been to the free throw line like every single time here in the last three minutes. So Appleby, uh, right now, 31 points. And he is 18 of 22 from the free throw line. Only six or twenty from the floor. I think you gotta make North Carolina come back to the ball here. Don't let them drop the ball off the floor or roll the ball off the floor. You're giving RJ Davis a full head of steam here. Love. Oh, okay, Love actually gets into a good position there. And the car heel continue to try to score with 35 seconds on the clock. Ah! Yeah, Appleby is just good at that. I rewind that so we can see exactly what happened. Appleby, he feels people following him, and all he's got to do is he, he slows down and he takes those hits. And it looks like the guy's just running and slam over him. This Appleby, he's, he's, he's a, a trickster. Set dribble is fouled out of this game. I mean, Davis climbed at six feet even and found Nance underneath. Ray Dotson, what's up? Oh, Appleby has been battered. Appleby steps up. Uh, with 35 seconds on the clock, I'll say Appleby is going to end up with 30, about 36. Better use his fifth year like Leaky did. No one on NC will be a good pro. <laughs> Shane Lackey, what's up? Davis. Davis. Around the corner. Pulls up, he scores. 29 seconds left. Steve Forbes can't believe that the horn just went off. North Carolina is out of timeouts, but gets a stoppage here. Did the clock even uh, 20, 35? Yeah. Uh, come on guys y'all had a chance right there. You had a chance right there to foul somebody besides uh, Foul somebody besides Appleby Had your shots He was really untouchable with a basketball. He scored at will in the paint against North Carolina. Sure did. 
He's gonna miss one. Oh. Appleby steps up. Run the free throw line. I'll go ahead and give him, give him the point. Oh, he misses. Davis still dribbling. Finds Nance. He didn't want it. Buddy. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. If that is, if that doesn't show, Coach, I mean, okay. Thank you, Nance, for coming and, and, and helping us out. You know, but uh, if that right there doesn't show you that Nance ain't ready for ACC play, nothing will. That's not the first time. Man. He just he he, he 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 can help us, but you know, he ain't ready to be big. Love squares up. It's another three. Still 8.4 seconds to go. <laughs> and don't foul him. All right, let's get, get this game over with, man. So there it is, uh, guys. Hey, I know it's disappointing. It's disappointing to me, but I'll be here for every North Carolina game. That's my team, no matter what. You know, uh, hopefully, like Sean said, like a couple of you guys said, hopefully, you know, better days ahead with the recruits we got. Um, uh, <laughs> Well, there's a lot I can say. Uh, the rotations, guys that go in, guys that come out. I mean, you know, uh, to me, just base, some basic, fundamental, uh, fundamentally sound playing basketball can can solve a lot of this. Uh, we need some guys that understand a team that understands that uh, defense is number one. You've got to play defense to win games, and you got to do it early. You know what I'm saying, and 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 you can't, you can't let because we're not scoring the ball stop you from playing defense. Plain and simple, and you know, we can talk about grit. We can talk about hey, at least they showed a little effort there at the end of the game, coming back, or not just completely giving up. But I mean, the way we looked, the way we looked in the better part of the first half, that was. That's just not, I mean, that's not basketball. That's not basketball. But um, thank you guys for being here. Everybody that stopped by, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would I would appreciate your, uh, your support. And guys and gals, I will be here next time. Hope you guys join me. I will definitely be here next time. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Super Bowl this weekend, I'll be streaming. Come and stop by and check me out. My thumbnail's already out. Uh, so while while we're still here, let's see when Carolina plays next. I know some of you already know. Yeah, take a look at that. See what uh, when the boys play again. Uh, before I do that, uh, check out the box scores. North Carolina, um, Baycock, seventeen points. 
Uh, Nance had 11, RJ Davis had 16, and Love ended up with 24 points. Uh, 9 of 25 from the field, it was 4 for 9 from the 3 point line, but most of those came at the very end of the game. Uh, shooting threes from a spot where uh, it will probably get you taken out of the game if you shoot them in the regular flow of the game. But regardless, 24 points for it. Uh, off the bench, Pell Johnson had 6, Washington 2, Nickel had 3, Trimble had 4. And for Wake Forest, uh, the man of the hour, Appleby, had 35 points. Monsanto, 16. Uh, off the bench, Mars had 10. Bradford had 8. Carr, 7. Hildreth, 5. Kirk, uh, Kentman, 5. And Williamson had 6 points. As a team, as a team, these teams, uh, Carolina, Ends up shooting 40% from the field. Wake Forest 43.5. Now, uh, yeah, they, as you can see, the score is 85 to 92, but that was not the case throughout the large portion of the game. You can see right here at halftime, Wake Forest 47, Carolina 25. And then in the second half, Wake Forest scores 45 points and Carolina scores 60. 15 points more. Uh, a big turnaround, but you know, when you get down by this many right here at halftime, uh, and you come out and you're just playing with no spirit, no fire, that, that that's what happens right there. Uh, three point shooting, Carolina 4 of 18, Wake Forest 5 of 19, Carolina 22.2%, and Wake Forest 26%. Free throws! Free throws, Carolina 21 to 26 now. Uh, this could have changed things a little bit too. You know what I'm saying? Could have changed things a little bit too. That's uh, that's five missed free throws. But, uh, I mean, you got to hit your free throws when you hit your free throws. Uh, when you got a chance to hit them, just like uh, Appleby did in the, at, right there at the end. He did miss two in a row there. Uh, what, what was it, like two minutes on the clock? But after that, he hit all of them. Um... There was a couple of chances at uh, uh, times I think Carolina took the wrong shot on a steal or on a, a, a chance to, 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 to close that, make that lead closer. Uh, but um, all in all, that was really not, that was those two shots were not the reason Carolina lost this game. Uh, Carolina shot 80% from the free throw line and uh, Wake Forest 78. Carolina out-rebounded Wake Forest like Big time, 50 to 35. Assists, Carolina, 9 to 12. Wake Forest, uh, turnovers, Carolina had 12. They actually stopped turning the ball over with about, what was it, like four minutes left on the clock. But that 12, those 12 turnovers did them in. Here's the standings right here. Wake Forest just jumps Carolina. Carolina uh, is trending in the wrong direction uh, right now. And... Who do we have next? We have a hey, we we have quality teams from here on out. Uh, Carolina right now is in a three-game losing streak. We have Clemson, who is at the top of the ACC right now, and we'll be playing Clemson at no, we play Clemson at Chapel Hill. Then we have Miami, who just took care of Duke in dramatic well not dramatic fashion it was simply a blowout they are ranked number 19 then we have number 22 uh north carolina state at state we go back uh we got to go down to uh north notre dame play notre dame uh virginia ranked number eight you know what i'm saying number rank number eight uh wow and some some are saying even though Clemson, I think, is still at the top of the the standings, that may have changed, right? Yeah, uh, there a lot of people are saying Virginia is still the best team in the ACC. Um, they're definitely ranked the highest. Excuse me, what am I looking at? 
All right, Virginia is number 13. I don't know where I'm seeing eight. All right, then we have, no, my bad, guys. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, so here, Virginia is number eight now. And then we have F FSU at Florida State, and then we play Duke again in Chapel Hill. So, right, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we Carolina could the way we played tonight, the way we played the last, definitely the last two games. Um, we could definitely lose to Clemson, uh, uh, Miami, North Carolina State. Uh, I, I'm hoping we could beat uh, Notre Dame, but. It's going to be at Notre Dame, so you never know. Uh, Virginia definitely uh, uh, can can beat us. Florida State, you would hope we could beat Florida State, but you can't tell we're going to be playing in Tallahassee. And then Duke, you know, that game would go either way. But we are playing that in Chapel Hill. So this could be a long losing streak. It could be a long losing streak. And if and – if, our guys drop their heads like we are prone to do, like we tend to do, it could end up being worse. But uh, anyway, I'll be here for all <laughs> all of those games and whatever we do in the, the uh, ACC tournament. So once again, thank you guys for being here. All my blue wrench, all the blue wrenchers and the North Carolina family, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, you can't wait. Uh, you can't wait till the end of the game to try. Yep, 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 yep. Thanks, cause no, no problem, Mike. Much love, Hills Nation. Uh, Clips of Miami State, Notre Dame, VA. Not gonna be a cakewalk. Gonna be uh, toughest part. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially at the end of the year too. So, all right, guys. Thanks for being here. Um, and check out my thumbnails, cause um, like I said. I'm going to be trying to stream every last one of them. So I
Tschüss.